this is going to be a vlog for the lesson we are having today with uh, Lars Osmussen, which is a Danish trainer that is coming to my barn. And I've never trained with him before, so I'm really excited. This will be my first time. And uh, hopefully Cara will be good. And uh, I will show you the videos and stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Right now, I'm just brushing her. And Ricky is filming me and we are riding together. So she's gonna wait for me so we can warm up together. So first I have to brush my horse. So. <laughs> brushy, brushy on the horsey. <laughs> and this is Ricky and her horse, Pia. And Pia and Cora has matching Kentucky blankets. Well, Pia is in uh, Burgundy and Cora is in Navy, but... We're ready. We're ready. Cora is ready to pretty pony all dressed up in her Kentucky boots. That is going to be dirty soon. We have a new Kentucky blanket. And stud girth and a double equestrian saddle pad and double equestrian breastplate and halter and seem to be bridle and i of course wear godo belt and breeches and aztec diamond equestrian shirt that i'll show you later so now we are going to go out walking warming up And it's so nice outside, but don't let it fool you because it is really, really, really cold. But thankfully, really cold. we have lots of blankets, so <laughs> everyone's happy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so we just finished riding and we just cooled them down and it went really well with both uh, me and Rika. So I will take a little recap later. Now I just have to turn her out. Yes, now I'm just turning her out in the paddock so she can enjoy life in the sun for a little while. But it looks so nice. Okay guys, so we are done for today. I just uh, took her in for the paddock and I'm ready to go home. And uh, I'm super happy with how the lesson went. I loved riding for Loss and he was a great trainer and he saw immediately what kind of horse she was and uh, gave me tips that matched her perfectly. The main thing he said was that there is a difference between having the horse waiting and slowing down. So that goes especially for me because one of the main problems of mine like in jumping is that I hold too much because I'm used to her running, so I hold too much, so I can't come in a really short canter and then around the turn I'm like, oh shit, now I need to go to the fence. So then I like, and then the canter get way too long, and that happened in the start in the combination that uh, we got in a bit short, so then I was like, okay, go, and then the canter strides got way too long, and we got trouble in the combinations that she got too close. Thankfully, she's careful, so it was okay, but that is like the main problem and he made me realize that because he said it in a way that I understood it and in the end it was so much better and then also just to have a rhythm because it's so easy like my thing is that I pull I see a stride that's not there and I just hold back too much I break the rhythm and he made me understand a way to not do that so I'm going to practice that on my own to just stay in the rhythm and to not pull back all the time because that works so much better and I'm super happy with how she jumped. Uh, it was my first time having a lesson in, I can't remember the last time, it was in October, September last year maybe, I don't know, but it was awesome to ride for him and I'm very happy with how she jumped like always and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, the main thing was for me, I need to have a rhythm, I need to not pull, I need to be able to let go and to keep her relaxed and to just give with my hands because the thing with a hot headed horse is that the more you pull, the more stressed they get. So you just need to relax, but it is hard to relax when the horse is running. Um, but we are getting there and uh, always very happy with her. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. And. Uh, See you guys in my next video. Yes. And I forgot to say it, but also the thing with the circles after the fences is because I need to teach her that she can get back down to a relaxed, slow canter after the fences so I can keep her in focus because a relaxed horse is always a horse that is performing better. So that is why we took those circles again and again and I needed to let go of my outside rein and focus more on the inside rein and stuff like that. So that's why we took the circles and it did help a lot.